Hey guys, welcome back to Nerd Alert Reviews. I haven't posted a review in a very long time, so I, I thought I would do the uh, Boba Fett Life Size by Sideshow. Yes, the Life Size. I just got it. I set it up. It's an amazing piece. I'm going to go over uh, as much detail as I can so that you're well aware of what you're getting yourself into. It's a very expensive item, and you know if you're going to spend this kind of money, I hope that you do it for the right reasons. So let's see what we'll cover in the review. The first thing would be cost. Um, this is five out of five scoring. I'll go over the cost, what I think realism is like, the resale value, what the wife thinks. That's always been part of my reviews because if other family members aren't happy with all your statues all over the place, they're, they're definitely not going to be happy with this pretty large one. And then a final score uh, as well as whether I think it's a buyer or pass. So at the end of the review, I'll have a score for you whether it's a buyer or pass. The item came on a big plastic pallet pictured here with multiple boxes taped together. FedEx dropped it off. I had them put it in the garage so I could get to it later. And what I did was I removed the plastic and took each box downstairs by myself. Um, not too heavy. And I had to get them into the basement before my wife came home. So uh, I ran them downstairs. Here are the boxes in my, in my downstairs walkout basement. Uh, all the boxes ready to go. And I must say the packaging is pretty well done. I actually kind of liked it. Each box had uh, styrofoam packing. Here's an example. Each piece was nicely fit into the appropriate slot, easy to get after, well, very well protected. And uh, I gotta give kudos to them. They know how to pack their stuff. So once I was done, I kind of just put everything on the ground and started assembling things. You guys gotta remember, I'm in a time crunch here. My wife comes home soon and I gotta set up Boba Fett before she even realizes it. Here's a blaster, I mean, this blaster was Amazing. Nice gold, nice paint. It felt heavy in the hand. I mean, somebody could use this as a prop by itself. And I just had various Boba Fett pieces laying around the downstairs and slowly, slowly tried to get it assembled. It was actually kind of difficult, not very easy. I guess having another person to help you with assembly would be, um, would be a good thing to do because I had a hard time. In, in all honesty, it took me about two days to get this thing going. And and there are these uh, pins you have to use to hold the arms into the uh, sockets. And there's like an armor piece on the top that you have to use these pins to hold in also. Uh, that was by far the most difficult part. I mean, the holes were very small. There was clothing on top of the holes. It was hard to access. Uh, it took me a very long time to get them, and I was sweating. But I was determined. I mean, I have a life-size Boba Fett. I want it complete. I want it to show it off. I want my wife to come downstairs and be like, what the heck is that? And so I kept going after it and after it and after it. And here you can see my progress. So small pieces finally being put on. Again, very well packaged, very nice, very nicely boxed. Um, just the assembly part was hard. Here is my final piece, but it was actually missing the center chest piece. SciShow is awesome. I mean, they can get you replacement pieces. They can fix things. They can make things right. And I trust them and I believed in them. And they did. Uh, they got me the center chest piece. You can see there it's, it's, it's complete now. Here he is turned on. There's a battery pack that you have to use to light up the, uh, the light up chest piece, and you've seen that probably on the instruction video um, from Sideshow. And the uh, the clothing, the painting, the the height of the item, the um, width of the item, the lighting effects, the realism. I would say looks pretty outstanding. I mean, I've never had a life size statue like this before ever, and I'm very very happy for this one to be my first. If not my only, we'll have to see. But uh, it, it, it brings Star Wars to a new level for me. I, I guess life size is as real as you can get to being uh, in part of the Star Wars universe, you know, other than dressing up and having an awesome costume and walking around. Here's my pinball machines. I got to move that Star Wars over to the uh, Star Trek, so that would make sense to have him near the Boba Fett. But basically, um, having a life size statue brings me as close to the Star Wars universe as I have ever felt. And I feel like every time I come downstairs, Boba Fett's there about to, about to put me in carbonite or something. This antenna does fold down. I think you have to take this piece off, and then you can fold it down. Um, I just like it in the standard position. And uh, it, it's, the helmet is very, very well made. It's very, uh, very heavy. It's not something you can put on, um, because I think it would, it would actually hurt your neck from the weight of it. And here's those pins I was talking about. Man, I hate these stupid things. These pins are what's holding the arms, this upper armor, and um, this... Uh, this cape together, and uh, here's a side side view, uh, and uh, everything's held together by those pins. 
So not a big deal. I did eventually get it. Just be prepared if you do end up getting this item, you 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 may need another friend. I did it myself because um, I was in a time crunch again. I had to get it done. So here's his blaster. He's holding it. Um, here's the cape. It's got some blaster marks on it. Uh, and down into the, uh, you, you actually get some tools to put in his uh, in his ankle pockets. Um, the blaster, the jetpack does move a little bit. The the thrusters, you can move them, just angle them a little bit. Here's the Wookie hairs. I've seen some people online actually replace the Wookie hairs with a, so, something a little bit more authentic looking. Um, there's one user on the Sideshow forums who said that he replaced them with something a little bit more realistic, and he, he thinks it made a big impact on the statue. I saw photos of it, and I would agree with him. And here's just some detail, the arms, the, uh, the hands. Um, these pockets are full of like, some foam material. It looks like he actually has stuff in there, like ammo, I guess, or something. And then those are the, web, uh, the tools in his pockets. The base, which lights up. I love the base. I think the bottom of the base actually did have like full fat life size on it, kind of like how the other side, side, uh, sideshow statues, the premium format, have like artwork on the, back, on the bottoms of the stands. I think this one did too. I, I didn't have a chance to glance at it that much, but I, I believe it did. Um, very nice helmet. And here, I'm going to back up so you can get a, get a good view of it. It actually looks pretty cool in the dark too. If you had a little bit of dim lighting, maybe make it like a Jabba, Jabba the Hut Palace kind of atmosphere, this thing would be pretty, pretty damn, uh, cool to have um, in that kind of atmosphere. Here's another side view of it. So I, I think Boba Fett must have been on the skinnier side because it, he, he looks pretty pretty thin. I mean, he must be like a size zero or something. Um, but he menacing in the fact that he has all this equipment, he's got this armor, and he, he, he looks intimidating. Uh, but uh, size-wise, he, he's kind of it's kind of small. So here's some uh, armor. Um, details, the, uh, the the belt, and coming out to the side, I forgot to show you this, there is another blaster, he has a holster here on the side, and that's his pistol blaster, you can see it kind of sticking out there at the bottom here, let me see if I can get another another deep view, there, there you go, and that, that actually is pretty heavy too, that could be used as another prop, um, if you wanted to use it for like a Halloween costume or something, I wouldn't with such an expensive statue, but, um, so that's, that's where he's at, and, uh, I'm very, very happy with my purchase after the whole assembly thing, uh, and it's as realistic as, as anything I've ever seen. Um, here's another uh, view, just having them in full focus. Actually, the uh, Job of the Hut Palace idea probably wouldn't go with this. That would be, this, this more so, looks more like the best been seen. So if you had like a carbonate, cham carbonate chamber, that would be pretty cool. So let's go over the final review. So first of all, the cost. This thing is $8,495, guys. Yes, $8,500. Um, in all honesty, I, I kind of think it's worth it. I mean, if you can afford it, you can pay for it, and you're a big Star Wars fan like I am, and you want to be like as close to the Star Wars universe as you possibly can be without actually, uh, I guess, just wearing a costume all the time or, you know, like just talking in Jawa or something. Um, I, I, I think this is worth it. So I gave it a 4 out of 5. Um, I actually got a deal at that time. It was free shipping. I don't know if that promotion is still available right now. Okay, realism. I have already said this multiple times. I, I, I've never seen, um, I've never had a life-size statue. I've seen life-size statues at like museums and Star Wars museums and things like that. Um, but I think this is as authentic as you can get. I, I don't think there's anything missing from the movies that wouldn't be here. So I gave this a 5 out of 5. I think they did as good as a job as they can possibly do. Resale value, I don't know how somebody could resell this unless somebody came and picked it up. Um, I think it will retain its value, especially if they don't make any more, and this is like a rare item, and they don't make any new Boba Fetts that are even better than this. But um, I kept the boxes just in case. Um, they're quite large. I stored them in the garage. But uh, I, I think somebody could part with this if they wanted to and maybe got what they paid for it. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure here. I gave it a 3 out of 5. Surprisingly, number 4, surprisingly... Out of my whole Star Wars collection, out of everything I own from Star Wars, all these sideshow statues, all these premium formats, six scales, this, that, this, that, my wife actually thought that this one was okay. She gave it an okay. Not a great, not a, oh, good job, you know, um, honey, that was the best purchase you ever made, but she gave it an okay. We'll take it. That's a three out of five, guys. I've never had that before. If the wife says it's okay, let's take it. Let's, let's take it and run. Okay, number five, the final score. I gave it a 4 out of 5 total. 
out of this. And again, if you can afford it, I think it's an excellent purchase. Um, I, I think it livens up my basement like, uh, like no other item I've ever had before. So if you don't have any credit card debt, you have excess money. You, you have a good 401k, you put some money away and you know, you, you're doing okay. You want, you want to buy something for yourself and uh, you want to um, have a life-size Boba Fett. I, I think this would be the one to get. Uh, so I would say go for it and I hope this review was helpful. If you have any questions, post. If you have any comments, post. Um, but I have some more reviews coming up. So this is just the beginning, guys. So I'll, I'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day. Bye.